welcome to Quiet Cat's video series. In this video, we're gonna talk about some helpful tips and tricks for riding your Quiet Cat safely and to maximize your experience out on the trail. So the first thing we're gonna do is power up the bike. To do that, we're gonna push and hold the power button on the keypad. That's gonna be the button with the small round circle and the line through it. Push and hold that for a few seconds until we see the screen blink, indicating that the bike is turned on. So now that we have the bike turned on, we can go ahead and look at the display and see the different things that are indicated to us. Starting at the top, we have our battery indicator, followed by our speedometer. Next is our tachometer, or total miles. And then at the bottom, you see our power level. Power levels range from zero to five, with zero providing zero assistance, and five providing the most power the most quickly. We always like to start on power level one. This is gonna allow a bit of latency so you can rotate the pedals over a bit further before the power kicks in, and it's just a little bit of power so that it doesn't take off on you and it's nice and easy to start out. The next thing we'll wanna do before we take off is take a look at our mechanical gears. These are the bicycle gears, and the shifter is found on the right side of the handlebar. On most of our bikes, you're gonna see an indicator that tells you which gear you're in. What we wanna do is make sure we're in a nice, low, and easy gear to start, and not be in a super hard gear. If we need to shift, an easy thing to do is lean the bike back on the kickstand so that the rear wheel is free, and then we can go ahead and shift up to an easier gear, rotate the pedals with that rear wheel free, and shift up to a nice easy gear to start. So let's go ahead and identify the rest of the controls on the handlebars. Starting on the left side, we have our left brake lever that controls the brake on the front wheel. Then we have our throttle. Next is the keypad for controlling the motor power as well as turning on and off the bike. Of course, our display. If you've purchased a light, this is a great spot on the handlebar to mount your light. And then of course, our rear shifter and our rear brake. So we've got ourselves in the right gear. We've got our bike turned on. Now it's time to climb on the bike. We've got our saddle up into the right position for when we're riding, but it might be a little high to just simply throw our leg over. So what we're gonna do, lift up the kickstand, we can lean the bike down towards us, and you can see that it's getting much, much lower, making it a lot easier to go ahead and step over, putting our right foot on the pedal and leaning the bike back upright underneath us. So when you're starting out and first riding the bike, you wanna have a nice wide open area. As you can see here, we've got a good flat space, wide open road, very little traffic. This is a great spot to test out riding the bike. So we're gonna begin with one foot on the ground, the other foot on the pedal. Which foot is up to you in a personal preference? We're gonna start just like riding any other bike by pushing down on the pedal, lifting up our other foot, and continuing to cycle the pedals forward. You'll feel the power kick in as you start pedaling along. So as we approach a hill, we want to make sure that we shift our gears before we get to the hill so that we can pedal right up and not worry about grinding the gears while we're under load from the hill. So I want to talk a little bit about the body position on the bike. It's very important to have a good position and use good technique. Therefore, we can maintain good control and have a lot more confidence when we're riding on varied terrain. One of the key things we want to do is have our hands nice and comfortably on the handlebars as we bring both of our feet onto the pedals. This is the seated position, which can be fine for riding around, but in more varied terrain, we wanna get aggressive. So we're gonna stand up, bring in the bottom up off the saddle. You notice the back is nice and straight. My shoulders are square to the handlebars. And from here, I'm in a nice comfortable position to bend the elbows and get low, get tall. This is great to get around side to side, move the bike underneath me, put it wherever I need to, to travel across this varied terrain. 